happy hump day. So I had to take a day off yesterday. I was traveling and working and eating really bad food. So here we are. And um, today we're gonna do some core and ab work. It's been a little while since I've really just focused on that. So we're gonna do the nasty nine. I have one cable exercise, but the rest will be done on the mat and with um, a big uh, blow up medicine ball type thing. So if you have that, that will be good. You could still do the workout without those things. This first exercise, I'm gonna do my cable crunch. So I have my rope attachment. Um, I have a good amount of weight on here. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and get my weight pulled out. I'm gonna hold it towards my shoulders, but I try not to pull. Um, I don't want the stress on my neck. So what I do is I have it out here and then we're gonna crunch. And I come up. Now I like to do the oblique twist as well. So then I'll come over and touch a knee to my opposite side. Go neutral, other side. Next, we've got our elevated toe tap crunches. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is get laid back, okay? You're gonna elevate your knees. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna come up and crunch, and then you're gonna tap your toes, crunch. So a lot of people don't like working out with this, but I do. <laughs> it gives me such a good burn. So what I'm going to do with these are like the plank pikes. So I'm going to get in a plank position, face down of course, and then I'm going to have my feet on here and the point is to pull the ball in with my feet. So let me get adjusted real quick. This is the funny part. It's never... Uh, Okay. So if you can see, I've got my feet here. Let me do my other two sets and I'll be right back. For this one, we're gonna go ahead and stay in the plank position. So what I'm gonna do is starting here, I'm going to touch each foot to the opposite side of the mat. Okay guys, this one gets gnarly. So, 
What I'm doing is I have my ball again, which I'm going to keep between my feet. But what I'm doing here, I need something solid. So that's where I have this pole here. What I'm gonna do is come up, let the ball come down. This one is called V in and out. So what you're gonna do is get stable on your bottom. We've done these before. So I like them because I definitely feel these for like a couple days. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and get balanced back on our rear. You're gonna have to keep your feet together, okay? That's gonna help stabilize you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lean back with our legs out and come in. Go ahead and do two more sets and we'll be right back. Okay, next I have a barbell. Um, I really like doing these. So what I'm gonna do is put the weight on my shoulders. And then from here, I've got my feet pretty much hip width apart. And I'm going to come down to where my elbow is gonna get as close to my hips as possible. But I'm keeping my back straight, okay? those those are also going to work your back muscles along with your obliques these look simple but i really love these so you're just going to put your arms up hands behind your head and then we're just going to start out with the opposite knee keep your back straight really have your legs do the work and as you come up you're going to feel that in your abs don't forget to breathe. These will get your heart rate up too. I can feel my watch buzzing at me. Hit my heart rate's going up. So that's a good thing. And I can feel the sweat's dripping. Okay. Go ahead and do your other two sets and we'll be right back with the final exercise. I try to keep the hardest or the most challenging. We call it the nastiest, um, gnarliest, whatever, for the ninth exercise. So on this one, what we're gonna do is focus on our forearm, but our hands are gonna go into our forearm. Okay, we're gonna do this. So you wanna kind of start out to where you're gonna have enough um, length where you're really gonna feel it in your abs, okay? So let's go ahead and practice on our form. Keep your knees solid. Go down as far as you can. Okay guys, I'm good and sweaty just from doing abs. So I hope that you enjoyed those. 
If you have any suggestions, some new moves that you like, send them over. I'm always down for some new stuff. So um, we'll probably do full body tomorrow. I know that sometimes we split it up upper body, lower body, but I'm telling you, I've got a contest this weekend. So I've got to tighten up. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock out full body tomorrow. So um, we'll see you then. Have a great day.